I'm making refried beans. I'm starting with two pounds of pinto beans. I sorted them and put the bad ones here and the good ones here. And then I took all the good ones and I poured them into here. And then I filled this with about, uh, I don't know, enough water to cover them. And then I stirred them around to get all the dirt off. So this is how I rinsed them. I just did that all around real good, a lot. And as I did that, I could tell the water turned a little bit dirty. And then I took my pinto beans and I poured all the water off and the pinto beans into here. And then I rinsed them just a little bit more then I brought them back in here and put them in here and I covered them with water about two inches above the pinto beans and then I'm covering them and I'm going to let them for sit covered for eight hours just in the pot without it being on or anything and then I'll go from there all right next I've measured out my spices this is a tablespoon of salt this is a tablespoon of chili powder. This is a tablespoon of cumin. This is a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And this is a teaspoon of oregano. And I will let them sit covered until I'm ready to use them. Next, I chopped up three cups of onions. All right. With the onions, I saute them until they're really soft. And that way, some of the flavor comes out of them and I would love to just saute them all the way alone but that's a lot of work to be transporting all this food back and forth so I sauteed them in some oil and the recipe calls for about three ounces of olive oil and I'm not sure if I have that much right here right now but I'll add some more if I need to I'm going to be adding to that one jalapeno. I had one fresh and I had, um, then I bought some canned jalapenos, so I put in as much equal parts there. So that's a total of one jalapeno. And then I have a fourth of a cup of minced garlic. And then I have two cups of chopped bell peppers, red, yellow, and green. And I'm gonna add them all to the onions. All right, I added it all to the pan. So I've got my sauteed onions, my one jalapeno equivalent, and a fourth of a cup of minced garlic, and two cups of the chopped bell peppers, yellow, green, and red. I'm going to saute these for a few minutes until they're all soft. All right, I've stirred them all together and I'm sauteing them. All right, I did have the temperature all the way up to 10, which is high. Now I've turned it down to five. And I'm thinking of cooking it just a little bit longer. Okay, I think I am happy with where they're at right now, just because of that. So, time to add the spices. So, here we go. I'm going to be adding the tablespoon of salt, the tablespoon of chili powder, tablespoon of cumin, teaspoon of cayenne pepper, teaspoon of oregano. I added the spices and stirred them in. Alright, so currently I have this pot right here still just has the beans in there soaking. It's currently 2.21 in the afternoon and at 5 o'clock I plan to start cooking these for three hours and then after I cook them I'll mash them 
And after I mash them, then I will add this mixture that I just made up of the bell peppers, jalapeno, minced garlic, and spices, and onions. So this will just sit right here for now. And then when all of this is cooked and ready and mashed, we'll add that. So that's where we're at at the moment. We've got about uh, a little less than three hours, two and a half, two, two hours, 40 minutes before I'll cook these, and then three hours from there. So it'll be just a little bit later tonight that um, I start mixing it all. All right, it's been four hours, four and a half hours, and this is where they're at right now. They've, they've gotten a lot of water in them, and I decided to give them a stir, so I just stirred them real good because I figured maybe the bottom ones would, would not be getting as much water. I don't know how it works, but I decided to stir them up real good. That way they've uh, all had enough uh, moisture to get to them. I don't know if it's necessary, but figured I'll do it. Okay. All right, bye. It's 10 to 4, and all right, it's 10 to 4. They've been soaking for almost six hours. And I'm going to move on to the next step. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drain all the water out. And then I'll put the beans right back into here. And then I'll fill it up with water, probably to the level it's at right now. And then I will cook it for, I don't know, two or three hours. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've taken out some of the beans because it's really going to be heavy when I move it over there to the sink. So I just thought it would be lighter if I took some out. I took that over to here, dumped them all in, so they, so all the water's out, and now I'm going to put them back into the all right. pot. The recipe says add three bay leaves. These are kind of small, so I'm going to add five of them. So I'm just going to put those in like that. And then I'm going to add some water. I straighten them up a little bit, move them around. Don't know how much this matters, but. Alrighty, so I poured in approximately four cups and three-fourths, so four and three-fourths cups of water, and that way it's just covering the beans, and then I'm going to bring them to a boil and then cook them for three hours, uh, I guess on simmer. The next thing that I did is I covered all the bay leaves with some beans. They float if they're not covered up, and so that's what I did. All right, it's boiling, simmering, and it's bubbling like that, so. Turn it down to low. So it looks like at the moment it's 4.54 p.m. All right, it was looking like there wasn't a whole lot of liquid in here, so I decided to stir it and found that these down here are cooking faster than up here, so I decided to turn it, uh, stir it. And uh, I'm thinking about adding more water. Let's see, it's 5.41 and I think we're just about done. It's looking good. All right, I believe we're good. The one thing that um, made me think it, it's good is because we have this, um, I don't know, kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but the, it was water that I was seeing, 
and now I don't see water. I just see a creamy creaminess to the, the beans, you know. So the next thing I'm going to do is hunt for all of the bay leaves, take them out, and then start mashing the beans. And by the way, it's 543, so I would say then that it took about two hours then uh, to cook the beans. Right. One other thing that helped me know that the beans are ready is they mash easily. So um, when I mash them, I'm going to leave some of the beans like not totally mashed because I do like the texture of that. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the beans that I have mashed. And here are the five bay leaves that I retrieved from the beans. All right, here we go. I'm gonna mash them with that potato masher. All right, here's the spice mix that I put in the refrigerator and I'm going to add it to there. Okay, I'm at the very beginning of mixing the vegetable spice mix with, together with the cooked pinto beans. All right, I mixed it all up and I brought it back here to the stove because the lighting's better. But this is it. This is my refried bean mixture. So I cooked the pinto beans for six hours. Well, no, 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 no. Back up. I soaked the pinto beans for six hours. Then I cooked them for two. Voila, that's it. Bye-bye.